Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, corsairs, and brigadiers. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at why you should be hyped for Sea of Thieves. Caution, this video contains fruity language, and if you ain't into any of that, I suggest you turn away now. Try, if you can, to name me five games produced in the past five years that represent, in any way, shape, or form, the piracy genre. I think I can name, say, three, the top one being Assassin's Creed Black Flag. There's been no more games since then. No more realistic, for, in a way, piracy games. We all know that piracy in and of itself wasn't as fantasy-based as games would like us to have it. But Assassin's Creed is about as close as we're going to get until now. Sea of Thieves, a game up and coming by Rare Interactive, tries to change the genre on its head. You and a crew of three of your friends, or random strangers, would be given the task of building a crew, getting a ship, and plundering treasure. Up saving maidens, I presume killing krakens, stealing from mermaids, and all the other malarkey that you can expect to have with a pirate game. So Melvin, why are you hyped for Sea of Thieves? I don't know, random stranger, let me tell you. It's been a goddamn long time since me and a few of my friends have been able to have fun playing any type of video game purely for the basis of fun. We spend a lot of our time playing ranked in Overwatch, competing against guilds in World of Warcraft, playing League of Legends ranked. We need some fucking fun, man, and not many games are fun anymore. Sea of Thieves looks real fun. One of the main points for me that makes it such a fun-looking interactive game is the fact that you can do things like sit in your cabin and drink rum and play musical instruments and dance. That's just fun. Just time-wasting with you and your friends. I think one of the better aspects of this game that has come across, especially in the gameplay trailer that we've seen, not necessarily the cinematic ones, is the fact that if you don't want to go pirating, you don't have to. You can sit on your little cove and drink yourself to death. And hell, everyone wants to do that at some point, don't they? The game looks true to form. The ships in and of themselves look very historical, however accurate they may actually be. But I like the differences between the cogs, the galleys, the man of war. I like the fact that they've gone to the extent of introducing these little changes and these little these little things that you wouldn't necessarily look for. There's no world map. You don't carry around a map. The map is stuck to the side of your fucking cabin underneath deck. You'll probably take one around with you, but this seems to be very short, sharp-based adventure. You have a hub world, your island, and you and your friends will be on your own lobby server, I think they've called it where you have your own little world you play in and sometimes you might drift into other players' lobbies where you'll see other players. There will be NPCs, there will be merchants and I presume the Royal Navy or maybe even the East India Trading, the East India Trading Company. Blech. But you will float into friendly and non-friendly players' waters some from time to time. There will be quests to some degree. Maybe you'll hear about a vessel has gone down near shark infested waters for instance or myths about pirate kings long dead that you end up going into their tombs and finding their treasure only to be turned on by the skeletons of those i think it's a good mixture of both fantastical and realistic although the graphics tend to say otherwise yes it's got a very cell shaded low density graphic style very low poly akin to the sort of thing like world of warcraft or overwatch would have but it's beautiful in its own regard. It looks like a living painting when you look at the cinematics and we look at the, the gameplay itself. It, it looks like it runs on a lot of PCs. I'm talking from a PC perspective here because I'm not a console gamer. But it looks like it's being built to run from the bottom up on as many PCs as possible regardless of specs. And that is great. That is great in and of itself. What we know about the game already is very little in regards to what Rare have told us. There's been speculation upon speculation, theories and ideas on both the Reddit, the forums and on other people's videos. That's all we can do right now is speculate. Do we get to build our own version of Tortuga? Do we get to take a pirate navy and get to take down Port Royal? Who knows? But it would be cool if we could, and it would be dumb if we couldn't. I think within the pirate genre as a whole, there's so many facets and things you can do and fun things that we all think about the instant we think about pirates. It's not even difficult to come up with visions of grandeur about piracy. When you think of any pirate film or any pirate game that's been made in the past 10 years, Pirates of the Caribbean, in my opinion, is one of my favorite film series of all time. Of all time! Because it's action, it's family fun entertainment. And I suppose piracy was as well around by the time of the 1800s, although not necessarily family fun entertainment. I can't exactly see myself taking my two daughters on top of a fucking, you know, man of war and sailing out into the Mediterranean. But the point still stands. 
Pirates are fun. Pirates have always been fun, especially this fantastical over-the-top vision that everyone has of them. Because that is what makes this game so unique, is the fact that it takes both the realistic style of gameplay and storytelling that everyone knows about pirates, about Blackbeard and Davy Jones, and then intertwines it with the fantastical, the skeleton crew, the ghost ship. And there will definitely be ghost ships and skeleton crews. This has been confirmed that when you die within the game itself, you will be ported to work on a ghost ship until you are released. And on during your time on that ghost ship, you will be able to see everyone else in Europe, for us, for example, in Europe, on your server base, who's also dead, walking around the ship. Which I think is just great. I think it's fantastic. The game does look quite casual. You're not going to see a Sea of Thieves esports anytime soon, but that's not the point. I think the point Rare is trying to hit on the head here is fun entertainment for friends. You can crew with up to three other people a ship and take it to water and do with it what you will. You will come across islands full of treasure. You'll probably come across cannibal islands as well. I'm crossing my fingers for. I hope you get to upgrade your ship. You get to up upgrade your character. So I'm hyped for Sea of Thieves because it allows me and my friends to have fun in a genre and world which we've always wanted to have fun in. It's easy to be the gun-toting, you know, super warrior, but pirates? That's nay impossible by today's standards with the amount of games that's been produced. Everyone remembers Pirates of the Caribbean online. R.I.P. good sir. Maybe this is the chance that we all get to fulfill those childhood fantasies where we wanted to be pirates. Hell, I want to be a pirate right fucking now, don't you? You wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't. The point I'm coming to, and the most important point about all this, is that this is fun. This is entertainment. There's no rank system as far as we're aware, and I'd be pretty silly to put in a rank system into this game. There's no competition, there's no esports. It's just a beautifully made, gorgeously balanced, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, interactive role-playing pirate adventure. Underlined adventure with fucking highlighters three times. This is good fun that we all used to have when we were kids when we're all adults now, or most of us are adults. And this is the sort of game that I would want to have my kids sitting on the sofa while I'm playing. Because they can watch it, they can see how fun it is. I mean, even from the three minute video that was released from um, E3 earlier this year of the people playing, they only played for a handful of minutes, and that looked so much fun. So, the things I am most looking forward to about this game. Well, it's out on PC. Fantastic. Great. It's also out on Xbox One. Now, I haven't got one. I have a lot of friends who do. There's potential for cross-platform play there. Not that that's a given, but it's a, there's a potential for it. It's a genre which I've always sought more in, but never have been able to find any. Assassin's Creed Black Flag was the last great pirate game I played, and to be honest, I spent more time on my ship than I did assassinating people. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you got rid of the Assassin's Creed out of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, you would have a fucking amazing game. But instead, there was Templars and all that fucking Abstergo bullshit that no one really paid attention to. It appears as though there will be customization options for your ship and for your crewmates. You can stand around playing violin and lute all day just to play a song for a laugh. You can get drunk. I'm hoping, however, that you'll be able to build your own city, build your own town, improve your ship, customize your ship to the point where you can decide where the deck guns are placed, how many cabins are inside, how many masts you have, what type of ship you're fighting. I hope we get to take the fight to the Spanish, to the Royal Navy, to the East India Trading Company, and travel the world. I mean, this isn't a procedurally based game. The map is made, it is built, it is set in every game. It is, in a sense, an MMO without being massively. And that is one of the reasons, and the main reasons, why I am totally, totally, totally hyped for Sea of Thieves. I cannot get enough rare. Please give me some form of fucking alpha beta access. Please, now, I'm killing myself. Go check the game out. Go check my channel out, go check all the other Sea of Thieves dudes, they recently did a podcast and it was fucking great. Not much news, but it was really good to see the developers talking in person. I'm totally stoked for this one, I know Star Wars as well, he can't get his dick around it enough. This game looks beautiful, it looks amazing, it looks real good fun. Release date is scheduled for early next year. There should be a beta at some point later on this year, we're all crossing our fingers and hoping. It's got a very small community growing at the minute, growing day by day by day. It's a game that a lot of people are interested in. But there hasn't been enough solid reports yet. One of the cool things that I completely forgot to mention and just popped into my mind right now is you will be able to take the fight to legendary pirates like Edward Teach, and hopefully you'll get to commandeer their vessels, which will make you a legendary pirate. There will be legendary treasure scattered throughout the world, as well as your common doubloons, etc. 
This game looks amazing and it'll be a great way to kick off 2017, especially for myself if the content dries out for Overwatch. My name's been Melvin, you guys have been the internet, this has been Rare Sea of Thieves, I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment below telling me your favourite pirate games and what you're most looking forward to doing in Sea of Thieves. And hopefully sometime soon I'll be waving at you from the forecastle of my own vessel, hailing straight long into your heading. My name's been Melvin, this has been Sea of Thieves, peace!